Hi everybody, thanks for joining us again for some instructional videos. Today we're joined by Evie once again and Alexis. So today we're going to focus on nail trimming. Oh my gosh, this is just sometimes the bane of our existence, but it's really important um, because having super long nails can pose a threat to us. We know those dogs that jump up and just kind of inadvertently scratch you and kind of do the raking as we call it. Um, they can chew with their nails, they can just be uncomfortable. So it's really important that we do have some hygiene um, with dogs in terms of nails. Now, it's best as a two-person job. We know, we, I think we've all tried it, you know, getting our uh, dog in a, a wrestling move and trying to wrangle their nails and it just, it's miserable for everybody. So we kind of hit on this before, but let's start early, let's make it a positive experience give them treats, we got doggy cheese we're gonna be using today, and you know, stack all the cards in your favor. If you got a, someone to help out, that's certainly uh, important. And again, if you can start when they're eight, uh, eight weeks old or very young, they just kind of get used to it. You don't have to start necessarily with even trimming nails, but you can get start with playing with their paws, you know, playing with their little digits and nails, just so they're used to it. And Evie, I've been messing with Evie for the last two months. She's four months old now. Um, so she's pretty used to my harassing, okay? So the first, um, the first way we're gonna do it is we're gonna do kind of a two-person hold with the actual dog on their side. So Alexis is actually gonna restrain here. So what we'll typically do is we'll put them all the way on their side and they can get comfortable in that position. So both elbows are kind of out towards us and we're gonna make her all, we're gonna take her all the way to the side. And if you have a helper, notice Alexis is gonna put her arm, she's not putting pressure on the neck at all. She's just using it as leverage. And she's gonna grab this lower arm and kind of pick up on the elbow. That way the dog can't get up and create any leverage to kind of move that much. And from there, it gives me really good exposure to use that paw. So I can see she's getting a little squirmy. Aha, we've got the trick, we've got doggy cheese. So what I like to do, little easy bear, oh, you smell your cheese. I'm gonna make a cheese line. Okay, now while she's distracted, I can focus on the nails. So the, here's our dew claw, and then we've got our four other digital nails. You can see how it creates a bit of a hook right at the tip of the nail. That's all I'm going to focus on. That's all I'm gonna focus on on getting off, especially for a dog at this young age. So I'm gonna take my trimmer, okay? I like to use these guillotine style trimmers. I'm gonna go right at the tip of the hook and I'm gonna do a quick clip. Let's move on to our next one. Quick clip. And then our third and fourth on this paw, beautiful. And then last, we're gonna get our dew claw. It's kind of a goofy angle. You can see Evie squirming a bit perfect time to distract maybe with another treat. You're being such a good girl. Okay, and we're gonna get our dew claw, and again, another little clip. So, it's super important that you make this a good experience, because if you're struggling and restraining and really trying to pin them down and fight them, you're never gonna be able to do it again. It's just not without some sort of sedation, um, or trying to coerce them some other way. You really want to make this a positive experience for them. So, and again, you don't have to take it all the way down because if you, if you trim the nail too short, you're going to hit that nerve and blood vessel and they're definitely going to remember that and it's, it's going to be challenging to do it moving forward. If you're at home and you do end up hitting um, the blood vessel and you don't have anything to, to stop it, old school, baking soda right on the, that, area, basically what that'll do, it'll create a little bit of a, a lattice for a blood clot to form. So just pressure on that with a little bit of that powder um, just for a couple minutes and that should stop the bleeding. Obviously if it bleeds for an extended period of time, call your veterinarian, um, but it's a home remedy a lot of people use. Um, so we got one paw done, we're gonna go on to the second and then for the back, we're gonna change our position and try something else. So again, we're gonna do some distraction and loving for a little Evie Bear. Good job, Evie. We're gonna grab our paw. We're gonna look for that little hook in the nail. Again, we're gonna look for that little hook. Notice I put the end of my trimmer right on that hook first to get my position, and then I clip. And I don't, I'm not, 
uh, hesitant when I do the clip. I see people that kind of struggle with it and they're cautious. That's actually more painful because it creates pressure on the nail. So once you get your position, snip it quick. All right. Okay, I got my position hooked in a quick snip. Okay, so the, I, I think most dogs actually react to the pressure of the, the actual nail trimmer. And notice how I'm holding the nail trimmer. I'm holding it this way. If I hold it this way, it's gonna create more sideways pressure on the nail and it's gonna be more uncomfortable for them. So it's important kind of how you position the nail trimmer as well. All right, she's been very sweet. Now let's hit the back nail. So we're, we're gonna do the kind of standing technique. So we're gonna turn little Edie Bear around. Come on, baby. She's like a wet mop sometimes. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna switch positions here. I'm gonna use my doggy cheese again. All right, okay, I'm gonna switch positions here. Now, for the back nails, I actually prefer this method because we'll stand her up in the back, we'll take her paw back, and now I have good access to that paw. Again, I'm looking at that nail, position myself, correct orientation, and snip. See that, that's a really nice hook. See the white part of the nail and then the light pink part? The light pink part means you got blood there. So I'm gonna position my nail clipper and snip. And last one here, position, that's another really sharp nail position and snip. And then let's round them out. Okay, let's look at our nail, nice visual of the white part and the pink part. I'm gonna set my clipper and snip. And then lastly, all right, you got them all done. She was a good girl. Okay. So lots of praise and lots of loving. Remember, it's all about the experience. Thanks so much for joining us today.